2020. Win together. A very good evening and another big game coming up in the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League. Jaffna Stallions versus Gaul Gladiators. And I can tell you that these are two very well matched sides. Lots of all-rounders and the toss happened a little while ago and Gaul Gladiators had no hesitation in batting first and uh, take a look at the teams and look at how star started and balanced they are so much of options that's a look at the Gaul Gladiators side Kundathilaka at the top Bolton and Rajapaksa Freedy and good bowling lineup as well so plenty of balance and options for the Gaul Gladiators but also, so are the Jaffna Stallions. Very well balanced, I must say. Some really big names, some match winners. And I can promise you, it's going to be an another brilliant game of cricket. Here are the openers. Walton and Danushka Gunatilaka. No strangers, Walton is a big hitter of the ball. Danushka Gunatilaka, of course, established white ball cricketer. So Danushka. Gunatilaka will partner Chadwick Walton. Walton will be looking for more from his bat. He shares the role as a wicket keeper as well. Straight away, a bit of movement. Runs here, punched off the back foot. The first sign of aggression, and that is a My 11 Circle champion shot to start off <laughs> well that's another my 11 circle champion shot the second boundary for Danushka Gunatilaka four more don't bowl on the pads He could, oh, oh, that's very well played. Very well played. Oh, we're talking about a wicket. And that's exactly what happens. Wanidu Hasaranga, the catcher. Olafia banging it in, short, extra bit of pace, extra bit of bounce. Good control there from Hasaranga. Nice and still watching it into his hands. Olivier getting the wicket. Walton out for four. It's 24 for one. Pass point, that's another boundary. That's gone fine, that's another boundary. He certainly, certainly should be in that the fantasy team. He's off the mark. Azam Khan. Leg side, whipped away and that's gone for four. Final leg was inside the circle, that brings up the 50. Hey! Bowled him, that is terrific. So suddenly, the leg spinner is in the game, that is a big wicket, it's a really good over, a couple of good overs being strung together, and that is the difference it makes. Oh, how about that, glove on to bat, on to stump. Hasaranga, this is what he does. He picks up wickets. He's on his way back. Gladiators 58 for two. Banukaraja Paksa. He's an exciting player. That's a beautiful shot. That is magnificent. That's right over the top, and that is gone. That is gone for six runs. What a superb knock that is. Oh, top edge, top edge. Binura Fernando trying to get underneath it. To take some catching. Oh, he's put it down. He never looked like taking it when you're backpedaling. It's never gonna happen for you. This time chip, mid wicket. Oh, dropped again. Dropped again. That was harder. But all the work was done. Was he trying to take the catch or just uh, saving his team a couple of runs? Eventually, he tried to save a couple of runs, but the catch was on. Oh. 
hammered down the ground. And a fumble. My God. It's not going well in the outfield. Finds the field at this time. Makes no mistake. And they're celebrating already. A wicket again. Number three. And the man who was going along nicely, Azam Khan, walks back. The fielder in the deep just didn't move. Flat battered. Dananjeo De Silva. Straight into the bread basket. Powerful hitting from Azam Khan. 20 of 18. He goes at the wrong time for the Gladiators. It's 79 for 3. Nice use of the feet. And a really good option and area to strike a boundary. A mile 11 circle champion shot if ever there was one. And again. Bit of deja vu. Nice use of the feet. He's taking the attack to Malik now. Clipped away. Finds the fielder. It was uh, going very fast, but he held on. That was traveling. It was flat, hard. But then again, as we saw before, the fielder not having to move. Binura Fernando hangs on to it. It's a big one. Raja Paksa, 21. The Gladiators, 92 for four. That's a nicely strike. Has it gone straight to the fielder? It has. We've got to go straight back upstairs to the commentators. The idea was right to hit the ball in the air. But they couldn't get the elevation. Hit the ball straight to the fieldsman. And Gladiators in trouble with 93 for five. Oh, that's fine. Not too far away from those gloves, but it's a boundary. Brings up the 100. That's gone fine, and that's four. Got that over the top, and that is four. One bounce and a boundary. That's gone high. That's what they need. It's gone again. And he's got himself six more runs. That's six runs. That is terrific. This is really good stuff. Full toss this time. Whips that away. And he's picked up six more. That's gone a long way. That is a terrific strike. He's underneath that one. Has he gone far enough? Yep, six more. That's three sixes in a row. Brings up 50 as well for Afridi. This is outstanding stuff from Afridi. That is an unbelievable knock. It's gone again. It's gone again. Six more. Got him this time. A little bit of a tickle outside edge. There's not too yeah, a couple of words there, I think, from Duane Olafia. If you can lip read, I think that summed it up perfectly. He has scored him up. Perfect delivery. I think it had just enough to find that outside edge, and the length was super. What an outstanding innings that was. That really was sensational stuff from Afridi. Absolutely magnificent. 58 of 23 deliveries. The Gladiators have got themselves a bit of a chance here now. 155 for six. Afridi was really special. That has gone high. How far has it gone? Far enough? Yeah. That's gone far enough. This has gone high. This is really high. Pereira. In fact, it's the wicket keeper. 
looking for the uh, the maximum of course as he was trying to do at this stage fortunately got right underneath that and it was Moores who uh, got underneath it and loud call from him which made uh, Pereira understand exactly what the story was a little smile there for Moores as well Amir goes for three 166 for seven oh, that's solid that is a very good shot solid stuff perfect really perfect last ball oh it's beautifully bold and they're going to be in trouble I think with a not going to count that last single so they're going to finish up with a 175 it's a very good over really from uh, Carl Abbott okay let's just have a look back at the uh, gold get gladiators now they went with their uh, batting today and you can see that you've got to look all the way through to a freedy for his 58 of just 23 balls now he really gave it some serious spurt to get things going and then uh, Joe Syria just uh, helped things along a little bit with his 17 in the end look at the bowling I mean the bowling at the top was quite good Pedro Fernando went for a few but look at Abbott and look at Olivia they've got Olivia's got wickets 44 runs 46 runs gone at more than 11 runs and over and that was the time the tried up Freedy was really breaking free they got 120 balls, of course, and the required run rate is going to be 8.8. .8. That is the target for the Jaffna Stallions. Right on, Akilo Dunanjaya. It's going to be starting proceedings. Now he's got a little bit of a, a remodeled action. See if you can notice uh, any difference in it. Ah, well, boys, the leading done. edge. And Andor just works it into the onside. That's running away for four. My 11 circle, champion shot indeed. What timing? Did that pretty well. It's gone underneath it as well. And it's one bouncing on for four. Underneath that one. That's gone all the way for six. That is a beautiful shot. That's gone for six. That is a very good shot indeed. Picked it up superbly. Well, I like that. They're very confident. Extremely confident. Up goes the finger. That's why. That's what you expect, expect from Mohammed Ahmed. He's a wicket taking option and certainly obliging the captain. Short stay from Menor Panuka. He perishes after scoring 18 runs. It's 35 for one now. Our poor delivery. Squeeze that away as well. That's very impressive. And this is big. But has it gone long enough? It's gone high. And oh, he's taken it. He is like salt in the midst of everything. Shahid Afridi, the captain of this uh, Gold Gladiators team. Maybe a bit of uh, miscommunication, but all is well. That ends well. Captain Afridi, safe pair of hands. Moors has to depart. He's gone for 18. 66 for two now. Gone straight over the bowler's head. Avishka Fernando for you, Mickey. There he goes, there he goes. I told you, he just needs to get a little bit of flow. Gotcha. Clean strike. And goes all the way. That's a good shot. Good result as well. And whenever you get the opportunity, you go after the bowler like this. What a hit that was. Down the ground. How far has it gone? I think it's gone far enough. That's another one. Abishka Fernando is warming up beautifully. Oh, hit the ball flat. Flatter than flat. In fact, and that's his 50. What a way to get to his 50. Oh. 
another boundary has been hit. Edged. Oh, poor fielding. This is not the first time we have seen this. Nice use of the pace. Good awareness to guess this one past the keeper, and he does it nicely. Wide, four runs. Five runs on the board. Now look at Shida Freedy's reaction. What is he complaining about? I just saw him <laughs> saying something. Nice and fine. Two bounces in the end, and it goes for four. Always oh, clubbed that, and that's gone for six. They just keep hitting these boundaries. Some of them have been really big as well. That's what's really helped their cause throughout this innings. And that's a shot. I, I know how much Ivishka Fernando has worked on his game. He's worked on his sweep. That's a shot he's worked a hell of a lot on. That's it, Johnny! Oh, awesome. Oh, put it down. He's put it down. Walton, what an effort. He will be very upset with that. I reckon he should have caught that. Solid. There is a sweeper. He's not there, though. That's a beautiful stroke. First round to show it, Malik. My 11th circle champion shot from a true champion. Partnership up to 98 as well. There were fielders in the deep. The wide Yorker is what um, Afridi is searching for. But Malik has an answer. There you go. You called it, making all the way she goes. Into the 90s goes Avishka Fernando. Two required for the Jaffna Stallions. It's been a smart chase. It's been a very, very smart chase. Hats off, Ivishka Fernando. This is very mature and very, very good. There it is. That is a very good performance. They have played superb with the Jaffna Stallions. They win by eight wickets. It is a really good, solid performance from a very organized team. They've been fantastic tonight in all departments. Uh, really, really well played. I thought they're, they're bowling in patches very, very good. One into Hasaranga, outstanding. And then Ivishka Fernando, the standout with the bats, who's just taken them home. Very mature innings from him. Gold Gladiators won the toss, elected to bat first. Shahid Afridi's 58 of 23 gave them hope. Gave them something to bowl to. 175 for 8. Duan Olifea, 4 for 44. But it was Vanindu Hasarangas, 2 for 12, that turned it in the favour of the, the Jaffna Stallions. And they're chasing downs. 176 for 2 with 3 balls to spare. Avishka Fernando, 92 not out of 63. So Jaffna Stallions, they start their campaign with a commanding win. Controlling the game. Showing that they got a lot of bases covered. Jaffna Stallions win by eight wickets.